We have some important news events to cover today, so let's get right into it. Swiss CPI numbers came out worse than expected, forecasted at 0.1%, but came out at 0.2%. US ISM manufacturing PMI came out roughly as expected at 48.4, and the JOLTS job opening numbers came out much better than expected at 10,460,000. This appears to be good news heading into Friday's unemployment rate news event. Lastly, still to come is FOMC meeting minutes, which will happen today at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And I wanna remind you that you can watch the news event covered live right here on the A1 Trading YouTube channel. All right, everybody, so taking a look at the edge finder, we're gonna start off like we always do by taking a look at the market heat map first, just so that we can see how our currency pairs, our assets that we have listed in the edge finder are trending on the day so far. So taking a look first here at US dollar pairs, Aussie US is up. 1.78% on the day so far, so that's pretty good, while USD CAD is actually down uh, pretty much 1% on the day so far. Uh, so US dollar pairs mostly moving towards the upside. We've got some pretty strong movers to the upside. USD CAD and USD CHF are only two movers to the downside. Uh, our indices are not moving a whole lot other than German 30 is up 1.72%. JP225 down 1.45%. I can see the S&P 500 is up 0.26%, but other than that, really not a lot of movement out of these other major indices. If we wanna take a look here at all assets, I can see some Australian dollar pairs up there at the top as our biggest movers of the day. But I'm curious to see, here's gold. Gold is up 0.64% on the day so far, but what about oil? Oil is looking, oil, oil is down. Wow, oil is down 4.41% on the day so far. By far our biggest mover to the downside. Absolutely plummeting today, down 4.41%. In fact, yeah, there's oil right there on our little bubble graph. We can see oil way down here, 4.41%. Hey traders, would you like some help with technical analysis? Well, lucky for you, we're giving away a free technical analysis guide. That's right, completely free. It's an entire guide all around technical analysis. The guide includes subjects like support and resistance trading, MACD indicators, trend lines, candlestick pattern trading, RSI indicators, and much more. So make sure to click the link in the description, fill out that information, and we'll email you a technical analysis guide right away. Oil price dropping drastically so far today. Uh, let's see, we're well, moving right along. Our Euro pairs are mostly mostly moving down. Euro AUD down 1.36%. Euro JPY up 0.97%, uh, almost one whole percent. But Euro pairs for the most part moving down today. Uh, same with pound pairs. Pound pairs are kind of split, but mostly moving to the downside. GBP AUD down 1.08%. GBP JPY up 1.26%. I'm seeing a trend here with our yen pairs. And in fact, here are our yen pairs. All yen pairs up today. So yen, uh, the currency, performing very well today. But the Japanese stock market, there, yeah, Japanese stock market not performing very well but yen crosses performing very well. Aussie uh, JPY, I believe, is our biggest mover to the upside today, up 2.42% on the day so far. CAD JPY also up pretty heavily, 1.64% on the day so far. USD JPY is our uh, smallest mover to the upside, but still up 0.58%, so yen pair is doing very well. Swiss franc pairs looking fairly split. Uh, USD CHF down 0.73%. Uh, CHF JPY is actually our biggest mover to the upside, 1.31%. Biggest mover to the upside when it comes to Swiss franc pairs. Uh, and most of our Australian dollar pairs are up so far today. Aussie JPY, again, like we just talked about, 2.42%. Euro AUD down 1.36%. But most Australian dollar pairs up on the day so far. Uh, most New Zealand dollar pairs also up on the day so far. And, and again, uh, yen pair, NZD JPY up 1.48%. Uh, Euro NZD down 0.42%. So a lot of movement in the markets today, a lot of strong movements. Normally we don't see this much movement when it comes to like uh, currency crosses being up over a whole percent or up 2% on a day so far and oil down 
over 4%, almost 4.5% on the day so far. So a lot of strong movement in the market so far today. Let's take a look at the watch list and let's get it rid of these neutral biases just so that we can see only buy and sell signals. A lot of sell signals, not a lot of strong sell signals, just one GBP NZD. Uh, very few buys, just one strong buy, NZD CAD. Uh, USD CAD was listed as a strong buy in the edge finder yesterday, but obviously some things have changed since then, dropping that just to a normal buy bias, a score of plus three, so USD CAD is on the move. Uh, but let's see, what do we want to take a look at today? There's a lot of cells. Uh, yesterday, like I just mentioned, we did take a look at USD CAD, so we already got up-to-date Canadian dollar information. So NZD CAD, potentially, but I'm thinking GBP NZD might be the better move, our strongest sell of the day, our strongest score of the day, and we'll get up-to-date pound and New Zealand dollar numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. GBP NZD right here. Click on that our GBP NZD breakdown page like I've already mentioned our strongest sell of the day score of minus seven our COT data and our retail sentiment coming out to scores of minus one so we can take a look at that information right over here under our sentiment section of course we're taking a look at institutional trader data right here with our COT data uh, our New Zealand dollar institutional trader data is 64.24% long and 35.76% short. So uh, slight favoritism towards the long side, not super heavy favorite towards the long side. Pound, on the other hand, 44.09% long, 55.91% short. So leaning towards the short side, yes. However, uh, if you're familiar with the edge finder, uh, you, you may or may not already know this, but we do not consider uh, a position to be long or short until it has crossed a 60% threshold. What that means is we need to see clear and obvious data that um, it, it's trending one way or the other, whether it's trending long or trending short, it has to cross at least 60% for us to consider it to be favored one way or the other. So yes, New Zealand dollar is uh, slightly over that 60% threshold, so we do consider this to be favored favored long by institutional traders. However, when you take a look at the pound here, if we just want to call this 56% and it's 44%, we can see that this is only 6% above 50-50. This is only 6% below 50-50. So relatively speaking, it's very close to being a 50-50 kind of just even uh, standstill, you know. So we don't consider this to be uh, clear and obviously favored short yes there is a, a slight you know leaning towards the short side but we don't consider it to be totally 100 percent favored on the short side retail sentiment on the other hand is 65 percent long 35 percent short so we do consider retail traders to be favored on the long side 65 percent from retail traders our seasonality is a score of plus one. We can see here historically wise our last 10 year average and last five year average. We do see that this pair does tend to do fairly well in the beginning of the year, meaning that price uh, does shoot up just a little bit in the month of January as it goes along. But we do see a dip uh, historically speaking again in February and in March, especially before it kind of shoots back up, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, January, this, this is our current year average right here. We are currently sitting below that line. So not following quite in suit with our historical data. However, if this were the, uh, to, to stay the case and it were to continue to move to, towards the downside, especially in February and in March, that would be in line with what we do see here, historically speaking. Now, our trend reading is a score of minus two. So what that means is that we have clear and obvious data that this market is trending downwards. And I think that's pretty clear to see when you're looking here at the price chart, our price chart going all the way back to December 16th and all the way up to today, January 4th. And what we can see here is just continue, continuous rather downward 
what we can see here is continuous downward momentum. We shot back up just a little bit right here, maybe to retest a, uh, a level of support right here, but then uh, it got beat out and just shot down, shot down again. And our price forecast is continuing that this will uh, be the case, continuing to move towards the downside. And fundamentally speaking, looking at these metrics right here, that certainly seems to be the case because GDP growth, inflation, unemployment, and interest rates all have scores of minus one, meaning that the New Zealand dollar is beating out the pound in all four of these metrics here. So let's go ahead and check out these numbers. Our pound GDP growth sitting at minus 0.3% compared to New Zealand's 2%. Our uh, pound unemployment 3.7% compared to 3.3% for New Zealand. Pound inflation sitting up at 10.7% compared to New Zealand's 7.2%. And lastly, interest rates for the pound 3.5% compared to 4.25% for New Zealand. So a lot of things pointing very bearish for this pair so far. And our trend reading is showing that that has absolutely been the case. So we'll see if that can continue and see if this could be a good pair to short. But I just want to remind you guys really quickly that we do later on today have FOMC meeting minutes at 2 p.m. Eastern time today, and we will be live streaming that event live. So that will be uh, happening after this video is already published. So please come back to the A1 Trading YouTube channel sometime before 2 p.m. We will probably start streaming around 1.30 p.m. Eastern time leading up to the event. Trader Nick will be watching the news event live, covering it, giving his analysis, and then looking at the markets afterwards he'll look at the markets beforehand look at it during the news event and then give some analysis after uh, uh, the news event as well so please feel free to come back at 2 p.m eastern time right here on the a1 trading youtube channel to watch the event happen live make sure you guys check out the links in the description if you need broker recommendations access to our free discord or want to chat with us on telegram if you're interested in our trading software the edge finder you can find that in the description as well thanks for watching